part two, year update. Dur, 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 dur. Alrighty, hello internet peoples. This is the yurt, the same one from before, if you saw my first yurt video. I've been, um, I've, I've been out in the wilderness, basically, for the past two months, touring across, or exploring across western Colorado, trying to find a new home, and in doing so, every night for the past two months I've been living in this in this yurt. So, for the most for most people, you're going to buy a tent and use it a few times during the summer, a few times each summer. So, I'd say like this guy's gotten for for the average tent user, I would imagine this guy's gotten a few years worth of use just in the past couple months. So, it might it I think this update is is worthwhile for anybody who's buying the tent or buying the yurt or already has bought the yurt and wants to know what its capabilities are. Um, yeah, I would, prefacing, I'm in no way a spokesperson for Walmart, not, not, or Ozark Trail. I don't know anything about the company. I, yeah, I'm not getting any money from Walmart if, if ever I do, like, something's gone wrong in life. But nonetheless, I'm a huge advocate of bohemian lifestyles and just unconventional unconventional housing <laughs> and this is it's I'd say it's pretty effective so first things first is the color like in the Sun as it's out it really doesn't seem that bad but you'll pull it out of the bag and every time it just gets more and more yellow and kind of kind of gross but like like you're looking at it right now it doesn't it doesn't look bad it's like if if I still brought this out to out into public, nobody would be like, "You, what's? Did, why is it so gross?" But um, yeah, so that's one thing you gotta gotta watch out watch out about. Um, grommets on the mat. I, I haven't done that yet. It's a good idea. Stake that thing down. Makes it a little easier. Um, this is, I feel, the best way to fashion this up. You can roll it, but this is just it's such it's just the quickest way. They stay. I've I've not had a problem with it. I've had maybe it blow out once from the wind, and yeah, I just I, I think that's a nice little little way to do it. Um, the whole setup process after I've been doing this for so many times, um, sometimes you you can set the thing up like super super quick and super easy, and it's really no issue. And sometimes like. When, when I get to a campsite, my first thing is to, where, wherever I'm gonna put my tent is where there's going to be the most amount of shade during the day. So sometimes I'm on uneven surfaces, I'm wrapped around trees or something. This one worked pretty well in this, this position. On the, on the other side, there's a weird little lump just because I was wrapped around a tree, so it's not perfectly taut. But um, yeah, I've, I've had times where I've had to kind of be up at an incline and you'd have to basically Oh, if I can see where it is, if you can see this cord here, you have to pin it down into basically a tighter position just to kind of get the structure of it looking all right. But it's all completely doable. It's it's a very, very well and easy to set up thing. There, don't don't go too tight when you're when 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 you're staking things down. You get a little overzealous and things end up a little warped. So those are the few little mistakes I've had. Otherwise it's, it's, you know, it's, it's more effort than a lot of tents, but it's less effort than it could be, especially for its size. It's, it's no effort at all for its size. I mean, yeah, it's, it's no pop-up, but it works quite well. So anything else on the outside I want to pay attention to? This is new. This is from a couple days ago. You can see this fray right here. It got caught in the zipper, so I don't know if that's something that just happened from the age or that could happen to anybody just because of some some bad stitch. But, yeah, so that's that. Yeah, I'll, I'll go inside, show you guys kind of how that's turned out over all these months, and, um, you know, talk, just finalize how this thing's doing. But yeah, this is inside the yurt. 
does, if, if sun is beating onto it, it will become an oven, even with the flaps open, especially if there's no wind. <laughs> but it does ventilate very, very well at night. I always have the flaps up, and it's, um, it, it keeps in the heat pretty well. Not, it's, not, it's not designed to keep in heat, that's for sure. But, so let's see, anything else? I, I don't have my mat on here right now, so I'm getting ready to get, get out of here. But um, it is a large surface area, so little spills last a while. This, this is white, and I don't know, maybe if I bleach this or something, but um, there needs to be, this thing will get dirty easily because it's white. So you are aware. Um, I, I only, I, so where I've been for right now for quite a bit, I have not had service, self-service. Like right now I'm just filming this and I'll upload it whenever I get service later. But, um, but I, I was, I managed to skim through a few of the comments and I'm, I know I'm not going to be able to address every one of them, but, um, a few things, this thing I remember, this hole is for extension cords or whatnot. So you can power into here. People are smart. I'm dumb. I just thought it was a hole. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. I had somebody, I think, mention about how I had this pole upside down, that this skinny thing is supposed to be at the bottom. Um, it doesn't make too much sense to me. I mean, it could be that way on the on the box or something, but I, did, I haven't gone by that. I just kind of set it up how, how I thought it would go. But it makes sense because this button is up here, so it's easy to lift up that way instead of scooting up at the bottom. And then most important is that that, if you can see, that fits perfect. But if I use this skinny one, it'd be all kind of wobbly up there. So I'm, I think that this is the way it's supposed to go. I mean, it seems really as it's supposed to be. I had some worries about like the strength of this thing. I have no, no worries about that at all. The thing's perfect, not a problem. Um, yes, so the, um, the tarp is not the best. As you can see, these marks are gonna be there. There's a few scrapes. I um, I, I did. I, I burnt a hole. I, I covered it in duct tape, though. But nonetheless, uh, so yeah, here's some holes for not holes, but um, peg marks from the from the bed. For example, when I was sleeping on this side like weeks ago, and. Yeah, just like a couple nights with a cotton here is going to leave some marks. It's going to leave some damage. Um, if you don't move it much, it's not going to do too much. But, you know, if, if you're doing what I'm doing and having a cot, you need to, you know, put something underneath it. Don't do what I'm doing right now. Um, anything else about the inside? Super nice little place. It's... Um, really feels like a little home instead of just like a tent like I've had family and friends come out and they bring their tents and they they get like an air mattress or some 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 sort of bed thing you know to be comfortable and it takes up the entirety of the tent the tent's just a shelter to sleep in and you know that's all well and good but if you're going to be out for a bit it's it's just a great thing and it's it's held up incredibly well to to all sorts every storm uh, some, some really, really, really intense hail. And, yeah, on the inside you can kind of see a little bit how it's a little bit more yellow. Yeah. Go outside and wrap this up, I think. I'm trying to, oh man. I really wish I had service because then I could actually like respond to people's comments directly. Um, yeah, so it's 13 by 13 square feet. I, I don't know exactly the geometry. <laughs> I didn't look that one up. But um, I mean, it's an octagon, right? right? Actually, I haven't counted the size. I'm sure it's an octagon. Yeah, okay, but um, yeah, it can fit, if you take out that little table in the middle, you can fit two queen-size mattresses, that's what it's advertised as being able to fit, um, 
fit a whole bunch of people in there, but it's just a great little place for yourself. And the fact that it is so sturdy, oh, hold up, make sure I can still see. The fact that it's, it's so, you get it good, well staked down, you get any, any storm it manages to stick on through. I think it's a, it's a great, great little tent or, well, it's a great year just to kind of have around, like whether you're actually going camping or if you have just happen to have an extra space in the backyard and you want to set this thing up this is a great little chill out like this is it's it's literally just a cheap yurt like it, like you you go you go to find a real yurt like that's actually well made and built to be a yurt it's still only a temporary structure but it's going to cost you like thousands of dollars or even if you do it yourself like there's still a lot that goes into that but this thing, this could last you for quite some time. Like just being a, it's it's its own little thing. Take take it to festivals, play around. I I, I think it's it, it's it was the best purchase that I made this summer, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, if anybody can, if anybody's having issues with it, please please leave some comments. Like I would like to know, so other people might have had other experiences. Because you know this is. I mean, the stitching's lasting well on mine so far, but, I mean, it's Walmart. It could be, you know, some six-year-old kid doing it. I don't, I don't know how, how well everything is. I'm, I'm no cross-stitching expert, but, um, you know, I, I'd love to hear people's comments on the thing. I think it's a, it, I, think, I think it's just a cool tent. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah. Hey, it's me, the narrator. I here I'm back to a place that I think I'm going to start my life and I'm not sure what sort of videos I'm going to be coming out with um, if you could all do me a favor if you haven't seen the first video that mentioned the yurt please go and check it out and also if you could go go look at some of my other videos primarily my first one that deals with the project with wood carving and 3D painting and the actual passions that I'd like to do with my life and I have no idea how to do them or violin like come on so please give it a look give me a like subscribe might be putting things out who knows may as well may as well subscribe it, it has no cost to you if I'm not putting things out I'm not spamming you right so you can just subscribe there's no problem with that I see no problem with that and, you know, more exploits of my yurt and maybe bits of my life because, you know, I am I kind of went out through all of, uh, all of Colorado to explore to find my place and now I'm, the struggle is real to get back into society. So that's always interesting. Maybe you guys want to hear about that. Who knows? Um, all that stuff. Good to see you. Peace out. Love you guys.